you have given an amazing introduction. So today I'm the Senior Director of uh, Artificial Intelligence and Data Science at Shutterstock. And as you mentioned, I come from a research background. I started after my PhD in the US where I spent five years in academia. And then I moved to uh, an industrial research center where the approach was very similar to academic fundamental research, but with an eye and an implication on concrete application to bring to user and to customer um, solution with cutting edge technologies. And today I'm also um, working as a volunteer of Women in AI, a nonprofit organization where I started a few years ago as the um, ambassador for Ireland. And today I'm the global president of this organization where we have 300,000 followers around the world, ambassador and our member from more than 140 countries. There are many experts um, that are able to um, eloquently talk about digital transformation from practical and business implication. Uh, possibly the, 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 the area I like to focus on, it's around the workforce, upskilling and education of the workforce is a fundamental step to enable a successful digital transformation and a deliverable of a successful business. Sales teams, product manager teams, they all need to be upskilled because in the digital space, it's not just about the technology and the software development that is required to bring the company into the digital era, but it's about the mentality. It's a cultural shift that needs to take place within the company and help every function of the business to be aware, to understand the new protocol, to understand the new requirement and a new operational approach to lead in the digital space. Very good question. I like to tackle this question starting with how this industry is evolving and therefore understanding where we understood that things should have been done differently. So at the beginning, many companies entering the AI analytics, the data ecosystem, were really focusing on hiring the technical talent in the data space, in the machine learning, in the analytics space and ask them to come up with a solution appropriate for the specific business. Um, today, we know that that's just a minimal part of the full story. Uh, moving the AI solution in production, it takes a completely new mindset, a shift on old style software development cycle to a new era where project management is done differently, uh, software development is done differently, testing, monitoring and update those models that continue to learn from data and therefore we need to constantly observe them and adjust when we see that their behavior is starting to evolve towards different spaces that were not taken into account when the design and the training was done. So there is a big shift in the industry today on how bringing ideas based on data into live production and how to continue to evolve on those solutions.
Absolutely. From a technical perspective, there are many trends that we could spend hours to talk about it. Mm -hmm. Uh, But I'd like to um, point our attention um, towards regulation, which goes much beyond GDPR and what we have been used for the last few years. So the EU has taken a journey in the last two, three years to come up with a legislation proposal around the ethical and trustworthy use of AI technology that calls for a shift from an industry perspective, not to focus only on the data side and GDPR, but to start to consider many other dimensions on how to develop those solutions that we have seen in the past. They have failed on our expectation of trust by showing bias and discriminatory behavior against women and minorities. So today, it's a call for share leaders' responsibility to start to take concrete action towards ethical AI, understand the legal implication of this technology and the legislation that are coming up that we need to comply towards. It's a very exciting topic. Uh, my thoughts, my talk uh, is focused on designing for diversity, some practical strategy for inclusive AI. So it's uh, discussing the journey on how to think about inclusive technology. What does it mean from a technical perspective, but what also means from a cultural perspective? How do we grow diverse team? How do we enable them to operate in an environment where their diverse perspective are heard and are understood and the technology that we build take into account all those different feedbacks. And most importantly, it's a call to all of us that are playing in this field from an industry perspective, government and academic perspective, to start to take simple but concrete action towards trustworthy and ethical AI.